You may have heard someone put up frozen yogurt as a healthy alternative to ice cream, but is frozen yogurt really healthier than ice cream? That's what we're gonna talk about today. So the idea for this video actually came from a comment on one of my other videos. So I got a comment from Marco asking if I could talk about frozen yogurt. We went back and forth a little bit and Marco clarified that they wanted to hear about frozen yogurt and whether or not it's a good alternative to ice cream. And I thought this was a great video topic idea. A couple other people also said in the comments that they thought this would be helpful and that they would like to see this. And this is one of those nutrition ideas that gets thrown out there a lot that instead of eating ice cream, you'd be better off to go get frozen yogurt. Now, before we get into the frozen yogurt versus ice cream situation, I do want to let you know that I have a video where I talk about healthy food swaps in general. So if you haven't seen that one, I will link it for you so that you can go over and watch that one too, because that's going to give you some general things to look for when you're thinking about healthy food swaps. But today we're going to talk specifically about frozen yogurt and ice cream. Now, obviously there are a ton of variations when it comes to frozen yogurt and ice cream as far as different types and different flavors. So we can't get super specific just because, you know, every one is going to be a little bit different, but we can talk about these foods overall. So the first thing to know is that frozen yogurt tends to be lower in fat than ice cream. And the reason for this is when you go to any frozen yogurt shop, almost always the frozen yogurt in those machines is made from non-fat or low fat yogurt. And even if you do find a whole milk frozen yogurt, it's still probably going to be lower in fat than a traditional ice cream because ice cream is usually made with milk and some cream. The next thing we can compare is sugar. And between frozen yogurt and ice cream, the sugar tends to be about the same. Again, it's going to depend on the different flavor variations out there. Some might have more sugar or less sugar, but overall, the amount of sugar in frozen yogurt and ice cream is pretty similar. So with the sugar being about the same and frozen yogurt tending to be lower in fat, that also means that frozen yogurt tends to be a little bit lower in calories than ice cream as well. But you also have to remember that when you go to a frozen yogurt shop, you usually don't just get the frozen yogurt. There's also typically a toppings bar. So there's going to be things like fruit and nuts and seeds and chocolates and candies and different syrups and other things that you're going to add into your frozen yogurt. Now, I think the reason that frozen yogurt has been put out as the healthier option by a lot of people is because of the demonization of fat and calories. For a long time, we've had these messages about how fat is bad and lower fat or no fat is always better. And and there's also a lot of messages out there around calories and that we should always be looking for the lower calorie option and if that if something is lower in calories that automatically makes it healthier but that's not the case you can't determine the healthfulness of a food by just looking at the calories and also we have to remember that fat is not bad fat is not evil fat is something that we need it's something we need in our diet and there's only three things we can get energy from carbs fat, and protein, and we need a combination of all three of those to be healthy. So in my eyes, frozen yogurt and ice cream are pretty equal as far as healthfulness goes. And when you're choosing one, I think it really comes down to whatever you like and whatever sounds good to you at that time. If you really want the creaminess of ice cream or there's a specific type of ice cream that you really love, then go for that. If you want the experience of going to the frozen yogurt shop and maybe combining different flavors and adding toppings to make your own creation, then go with that. Because when it comes to these two foods, frozen yogurt and ice cream, they're both desserts. They're not some sort of nutritional powerhouses and they're not supposed to be. They're there because they're fun and we like them and that's fine. So when it comes time to decide between one or the other, pick whichever one you like and then enjoy it while you're eating it. I think a big problem with the way a lot of people eat desserts is that they don't enjoy it. They either eat it mindlessly and just don't pay attention to the experience or they spend the whole time feeling guilty and talking about how they shouldn't be eating this or how they're being so bad right now or how they're gonna have to make up for this somehow tomorrow with their eating or at the gym. It's just not good stuff. It's not helpful, it's diet talk, and it doesn't allow you to enjoy the food. Also, if you ended up on this video because you were looking for is frozen yogurt healthy or what's a healthy alternative to ice cream, I wanna encourage you to do a little self-reflection as to why you were looking for that. Is it coming from a diet mentality where you feel like you have to eliminate foods? Is it coming from a place where you feel like you need to eat perfectly or only eat healthy foods? If that's you, if that's where you are right now, I just want to let you know that healthy eating isn't about eliminating foods or 
only eating healthy foods. It's about paying attention to nutrition as one thing to consider when you're making your food choices, but also paying attention to your food preferences, what sounds good right now, your food culture and food traditions. And it's also about looking at the big picture, your overall pattern of eating. It's not about one food or one meal or one day of eating. And let me know in the comments, are you more of a frozen yogurt person or more of an ice cream person, or can you appreciate both? I fall into that third category. Sometimes I like frozen yogurt, sometimes I want some Ben and Jerry's, and that's just how it goes. But I hope you like this video, and if you happen to be new here and you want more healthy eating tips and nutrition info and videos like this one, then make sure that you subscribe, because eating healthy and living a healthy lifestyle really doesn't have to be complicated, and I want to show you how to do it. And if you want to watch some more videos, I have a couple linked over here that you might like. Thanks for watching, I hope you're having a great day, and I'll talk to you next time.